Welcome to the Drum Lounge Podcast. What's up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of the Drum Lounge Podcast. I am your flam drag finessing, your flam five rolling, your your rudiment killing host, Jeremy Foster. And I'm your favorite drummer's drummer. Your drummer. I'm your. What is it? What's the What's yeah, the yeah, saying? Yeah, your favorite drummer's drummer. Your favorite, favorite drummer's drummer. drummer. There it is. <laughs> Dad's Dilly, man. We here with another episode for you, man. We can't wait to uh, get this thing going, bro. Yeah, man. Well, welcome to the show, y'all. Yeah. Uh, how, how you doing, man? How was your, how was your day? I'm good, man. My day was good. Busy. That's woke good. up doing some things, uh, yeah. handling some business, and I had a lesson today. Yeah. Uh, cool. And a couple of consultations. So if anybody out there, if you need uh, drum lessons, definitely check exclusivepercussion.com. Okay. Go to lessons and uh, get some lessons uh, by yours truly. So yeah, that's what I was doing today. What about you, man? And that's for everybody. You never. There's right. never too much knowledge. Nah. Like, even I'm. I'm learning every day right. about about my craft. Uh, but. Right. Yeah, I, I've been working. Uh, I've been at work all day uh, from, from 9 to 5. <laughs> like, that that, that grind. Literally, as soon as I got off work, I, I, I rushed over here. And right. so, uh, but yeah, man, the, the life of a software developer is not, not easy. Be but, making that bread. But uh, we, get it, we get it done, man. <laughs> we get it done. And I, I got something big, too, that I want to announce, too, that, that kind of joins together my love for software development and right. percussion. Nice. I'm gonna wait. I'm you gonna wait? wait? I'm gonna wait for that. We got time, I'm man. We got. It. First of all, let's say this, man. The love that we've been 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 having, and the love that's yeah. been shared, yeah. just from the first video of uh, first podcast and first episode. Thank y'all so much because uh, that means a lot. It means that we're doing something right. Yeah. yeah. And uh, best believe the next few episodes are going to like blow your mind. For a fact. For, for sure. A fact. Uh, and we talked about how, like, uh, you know, living in your purpose. And I just feel like uh, this is just one avenue of, of how we're both living in our purpose. Of, I, I mean, for me, uh, I just feel like drumming is a gift that was given to me from God. And um, I just feel like God wants me to s- spread his word through through drumming. And sure. th- that is possible. No, it is possible. Yeah. <laughs> and so uh, I think I think we're doing the right thing here, man. Yeah, we are, man. For a fact. Um, but yeah, uh, I think we got a good topic today. We're gonna be talking about uh, the 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 wonderful world of drum pads. Drum pads, and that that's <laughs> drum pads are like. So I got a got a got a secret, not a secret, but uh, a tip. Yeah. For for people in relationships, <laughs> uh, girls, if you don't know what you to 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 buy your 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 male counterpart in a partnership, you can either do three things: get him a drum key, a drum some drumsticks. Hey. Or a drum pad. Oh, a drum pad. Man. I promise you, he would love one of those. Or, or her. Yeah, yeah. If, if yeah. guys, you're trying to figure out what to get your yeah. lady drummer friend, get, get her one of those. Get her one of those. And uh, we're gonna be talking about drum pads today. Our top five drum pads, what we use and what we like. Yep. Uh, and so, yeah, man, let's get to, let's get it going. Let's see what yeah. we got. Yep. So we got our own individual top fives. Right. So um, we're just gonna go uh, one by one. So for me, number five. Uh, I got the these the Invader pad. Yeah. Shout out to my guy Cam. Um, this is uh, actually he pad. He stole pad. his pad. <laughs> he stole his pad. <laughs> he, for he the let show. me have. Uh, but yeah, shout out to you, Cam. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is the Invader pad. Uh, now this was actually my very first drum pad. Uh, not this one specifically, but uh, the Invader pad was my very first drum pad. And um, I like it, honestly. I mean, I do. It's, uh, it has an interesting feel, an like interesting bounce. Um, they give you the solution that you use. I forgot what's the name of it, but I think it... I forgot what's the name of the solution that they give you. Uh, but they give you the solution to, to put over it uh, from time to time so that the material, this rubbery material, can stay... Um, stay long. Yeah, stay strong. Yeah. Um, and it's definitely a different feel when you use that, uh, yeah. that, that solution uh, consistently. But, yeah. uh, I mean, it has, a good, it has a good sound. It has a good... Bounce. I mean, of course, you don't want to depend on the bounce too much, so you can right. get, uh, so you won't get pad hands. But um, it, it definitely has a good sound to it. And of course, uh, they offer these laminates that you can put on it to have like a different feel. I think that's the cool part. Yeah, yeah, that that, that, right. that definitely is the cool part. Helpful with your uh, zoning because uh, mm-hmm. you, so you won't play out a zone or whatever. Right. Um, but yeah, I like it, man. Shout out to Invader. Uh, the the back of the pads have this uh, little uh, soft mesh part. And sometimes I like to practice on this too because I don't like to practice on something bouncy the entire mm-hmm. time. 
because uh, I'm I'm just afraid of pad hands. Like I never want to get pad hands, <laughs> so I try to. I never just play on the pad, play on the pad for an hour. I always switch to a, a pillow or whatever, mm-hmm. or something soft, so I won't yeah. uh, get that pad hands. But yeah, I've yeah, been, man. Yeah, I've actually always wanted an invader. Uh, it's probably gonna be on yeah. the the next. Um, Actually, that's really my number five. Really, yeah, is an invader yeah. because one, I never had one. Yeah. And anytime I've played on an invader, uh, I've always liked it. Um, mm-hmm. And so, really, I really just want to try it on my own. You can never have too many pads. Yeah. Exactly. So uh, I think that's gonna be my next purchase uh, in in pads. And also, I just like the sound of, of yeah. the pad. Like, yeah. if you, let me get your pad real quick. Like, I just, I don't like loud pads. Yeah, yeah. I don't like loud pads, yeah. but good sound. It has a real good yeah, sound. Good sound. Like, yeah. Even with the, without the solution, it still has a good, yeah. good sound. It's not too loud, but it's yeah. not too soft where you can't hear what you're, exactly. what you're playing. So and it has a rim. Uh, this right. is like one of the, I want to say one of the first pads that had a rim on it. Um, I never had one of the besides the Remo. The you remember the ones that you uh, got yeah. uh, in yeah, middle, middle school? school. Yeah, yeah, with yeah. The gray was oh, that was, that was oh man, that was nah, yeah, that, yeah, that's a that's a throwback pad. And I know all of y'all <laughs> listening to this know exactly what we're talking about. Exactly. <laughs> Oh my god, that joke was terrible. It's like a tenor drum. And if you tighten it up too tight <laughs> and try to play on it, it'll break. I'm like, yo. They were they were innovative though. Like yeah, they were yeah, trying they to was. they were trying was, to get somewhere. They was definitely before their time. Right. Like, like that sure. was yeah, yeah, that those were some I guess decent pads, but, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah man, shout out to shout out to Invader. You said this was your number five too. I think so, man. Yeah. I think so. Um yeah. That that's my number five. What you got for number four? Uh number four, y'all 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 made not like me or whatever, but uh, it's the Zymox. I'm I'm gonna go and honestly, let me say it like this. I'm not doing this in order. I, I guess I say it like yeah, that. yeah. Well, I guess we yeah, we can do that. I'm not and I'm not saying from the the worst to the best or the best to the worst or whatever. I just think that I'm going to my preferred path. Yeah, yeah. What I would actually yeah. play throughout the day. Mm. This I when I first got it, it took me about seven months to get it. But I got it and I loved it. Uh, I really don't remember all that I put on here. I don't remember the the, <laughs> the head. Yeah, the specific. I don't yeah. remember any of the specifics because one, it took so long to get here. I think I ordered this um, a few years ago, maybe in August, mm-hmm. and I got it uh, the third week of February of the next year. Wow. And so I don't remember anything from countless, this. Countless stories. I really don't. But it feels good. I like the way it feels. I like the way it sounds. Of course, if you don't know about Zymox, uh, it's really um, as close as a um, marching snare head in the sense that you're going to yeah. get yeah. Um, with the whole, it's, I think this is a, what size is this? I want to say 14. This is a 14 inch, inch, right? And then you have your uh, your lugs where you can, you know, of course, screw it on and things mm-hmm. of that nature. But then you also have the rim. The rim was, is very important. It's a nice size rim in it um and it's pretty heavy too that's that's one of the things that i don't like about it it's so heavy yeah like it lugs it look it lugs around but it's very sturdy of course with with the bees on the bottom um that give you that snare sound um and i love it i love this i love this uh pad it's just too loud for me um that's the only thing of course you can soften it with the with the padding under it but it's still kind of loud for me but um yeah zombox man I, I like the Zymox pad. It's just too loud. That's it. <laughs> uh, I'll be honest. Uh, Zymox is one of my favorite. I, I, yeah. I'll probably say Zymox is my favorite pad. Yeah. Uh, uh, even outside of... I mean, the only thing is just the production time for them production to time. create them. Um, but if you're cool with them, you can get them faster. Shout out like Zymox. you. <laughs> like... If you're cool with Zymox, you can get it faster. But <laughs> I'm still mad at you. Because I actually like your pad. I actually like yeah, the yeah, feel, nah, they, the they, sound of it. Maybe I just did mine wrong. Because I nah, actually like your pad. No, nah, yeah. they. Uh, I think when I got, when I ordered this one uh, through them, I think they had just came out with these heads. Yeah. And so. Um, yeah, I got the older version. I was like, yeah, let me go ahead and get that head up out, y'all. Yeah. But uh, yeah, man, they, uh, Zymox, they... Uh, they got some. They got some good pads, man. I like uh, how they have the beads on the inside to produce that snare sound, mm-hmm. um, and then of course the rim, uh, the the lug adjustments. I mean, of mm-hmm. course, it don't adjust the sound of the of the the, the pad, yeah, but right. but uh, I mean, it's a good good little look to it. Yeah. Also, um, you can customize it too. I yeah. Think that's what it is. That's what's making it it's, really fun. You can literally customize your own drum pad yeah whatever drum pad works best whatever you want on your drum pad like i just got stickers on mine because i just like how the whole graffiti look mm. and stuff like that but i actually can put this i actually can put this 
if I had this on a graphic, I can put this on the pad yeah. and have it printed out. Yeah. And this can be actually on the top of my head uh, of the yeah. drum pad. So that's one of the pluses that I think what makes Zymox so cool is that you can literally customize your own pad to whatever you want. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, if you can, if you don't mind waiting that little five, six month period. Right. Then, yeah, go ahead and get one. Yeah, I'm get still waiting for one of mine. I'm yeah. doing the, I really can't remember what it's called, but it's the, uh, the hybrid where it's the. Yeah, it's, I think it's called the, the hybrid. The hybrid. Uh -huh. The hybrid snare. Yeah, yeah, uh, where snare. where yes, it's an actual like a piccolo marching snare, mm -hmm. but then you can put change it into a actual yeah. practice snare. Yeah. So I'm actually waiting for that one to come in. I ordered nah, that for my birthday. Uh, so we're in what my birthday was in July of last year. So we still we still hoping yeah. for it. So I uh, can't wait. Hopefully once we get here, we can, yeah. we can premiere it on here. So Zymox, holla at us, okay? Right, cool. Not for real, man. Shout out. Shout out to, to yeah, shout out um, to Zymox. <laughs> What's your next pad, bro? Uh, let me see. I think I talk about the real feel. Yeah. Real feel is uh one of my favorites. Yeah. Uh, because my favorite part is just this 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 side of the pad here. Mm -hmm. It just has an interesting feel, bro. Like mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just something about that the feel of this side of the pad. It's just it's, it's just so fine to me. Yeah. Um, I actually bought this one at the beginning of the uh, pandemic, like mm -hmm. literally in March, like the next week after they said, stay home forever, mm -hmm. I bought this pad. Yeah. <laughs> and um, uh, because I just wanted something else to play on. Like I didn't want to play on a Zymox, I didn't want to play on a Invader or mm -hmm. just a pillow. So I was like, let me, what, what other material this pads have? And right. uh, this one came up, it, it's a good feel. Of course it's two-sided, you know, it got the bouncy side and the more more uh, tough side where you have to put more work in for your chops. Right. But. Um, Rimless. I mean, it's pretty simple, pretty basic, mm -hmm. uh, which is why I liked it. Like, it's, yeah. it's you just throw it on the table, play on it, <laughs> and, and that, that's what I like about it. And it gets your hands going too. That's actually yeah. one of my favorites as well. Got my own over here too. <laughs> this is the more older version um, of the Evans real, real feel, just a different look. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like you said, I like the two sidedness of it. Um, I've played on this side the uh, the what is what is this called? What side? What size? Is it? Whatever this side is called. I the gray the, side. Yeah, the gray. We're gonna say the gray side. <laughs> now the gray side is, I, of course, it's just I love how it how it um how it just feels when you're playing on it. Um, even too, um, when you actually get the Evans hybrid head, you it yeah. literally feels the exact same. Yeah. Like when you have an actual drum and you got the Evans hybrid uh, head, if you you of course tune it correctly, right? It literally feels the same. Right, so I love that. Like like Jeremy said, man, that the other side, the black side, is just a, it's a different feel, a different sound. Yeah. I don't know, man. I like that too, man. So yeah, the real feel, uh, drum pad from Evans is another good one, man. Yeah, yeah, definitely. definitely. Um, I'm gonna switch it up a little bit, and yeah. this one is actually, I actually like this one. Yeah. Yes. This is the Vic Firth Slim Pad. Yeah. I actually like this one. Now again. I don't like loud pads. Right, right. <laughs> this is a loud pad, but I actually like this pad right here. Um, I actually like the stock pad, the stock pad uh, a little bit better than the slim pad. Mm. Um, but of course, the reason why I don't like the slim pad is, of course, it's just loud, but it sounds so good, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like, oh my God. like it sounds so good. Yeah. Oh man! Yeah, I, I know. Whenever I hear that sound, I know exactly what kind of pad it is. Exactly. It's like, uh, yeah, that's a slim pad. It's a slim pad, and then like uh, on the, I think the Invader that you had, um, it has this, this, this the same material. Same material on the, but it's really a grip resistance, but we you can it. play on it too. Purposes, yeah. And it still gives a good sound. It still get, yeah. it doesn't have a lot of bounce, so you, you're kind of working your wrist right. a little bit yeah. more. Yeah. You can get a little bit more control, but uh, yeah, the slim pad and the stock pad, they're they're like really my, uh, that's my second favorite, honestly. Yeah. Um, next to the real feel, so yeah. Yeah, definitely me too. Me too. Uh, that slim pad is one of my uh, one of my favorites. Yeah. Uh, I just don't have one, surprisingly. Yeah. But uh, shout yeah. out to Marcus Joyner because uh, he he actually gift me, gifted me with this one. Oh wow! Yes. Yeah, um, we was on the we was on the uh, road for Drumline Live. Okay. Yeah. Um, he's uh he's one of the Vic First art. Big oh, yeah, artist, okay. so he uh, definitely um, hooked me up with this. So Marcus, yeah. bro, I Shout appreciate you on that, and uh, <laughs> yeah, got a slim pad. Need you on the show, Marcus. We do. We need you on the show. I'm I'm gonna call you too. <laughs> Come on the show, you, you man. Been, you been ignoring me. <laughs> All right. Now, but uh, another one of my favorites. Uh, I think this is my last one. Um, yeah. 
is the drum slinger pad. I don't have that pad, and I really want it. Mm. But drum slinger, uh, have you heard of drum slinger? I have not. Man, drum slinger, uh, they're like Zymox, but they have actual heads. They have real heads. So, and they look like Quint pads. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. It has the wooden bottom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I want one of those, too. I want one of those, man. That, yeah. that might be my next pad that I get. Yeah. Because, yo, know, they feel good. They, they got the rim on it so you can practice rim shots mm -hmm. or pings yep. and, and all that. Uh, it is extremely bouncy, so you do got that effect. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't suggest playing on it solely, like only mm -hmm. playing on that pad. Of course, right. switch surfaces from time to time. But the Jump Slinger pad is a really, really good okay. pad. Like, now, I know you said, like you said it before. I understand what you mean. Yeah. But for people who really don't understand what pad hands are yeah. or... You know, well, why I can't pay, play on the pad for so long? Yeah. Kind of explain why, because a lot of people are like, "Oh, I got a pad. Yeah. That's what we're gonna yeah. do." <laughs> yeah. So pad hands is the effect that you get um, when you play on a extremely bouncy surface. So let's say you play on a a, a, a bouncy. Let's say you play on this pad. Uh, you see, this pad has uh, this interesting surface. Uh, here's the texture to it, and it's super bouncy. Let's say you play on that for like 30 minutes or maybe even an hour and then you go on a regular drum, you'll notice that your hands, hands. feel different. Yep. You try to do anything that got a diddle in it, you try to do anything that got a flam that's followed by a diddle, you, you'll notice that it's kind of a struggle to do that. And that's the effect of pad hands. Uh, now a good way to avoid getting that is uh, you can play on one of those surface uh, surfaces, but every, I want to say 10 minutes, 15 minutes, switch to a soft surface uh, and then go back to... Uh, practicing on a pad right because uh, I think if you get that that balance of you know sh uh, forcing yourself to play and then letting the pla pad play for you if you get that balance I think uh, you'll still be able to get your hands right so very true yeah no that's real so stop the pad hands right. <laughs> instead of stop the count stop the pad stop hands. the pad hands <laughs> um, so my my the, the one I play with a lot um, that I I I don't know. I kind of fell in love yeah. with is is the the movement drum code drum pad. It's very bouncy. Yeah. Um. But uh, I like this pad. Like, no, I don't yeah, know I why. Definitely, I definitely like movement. How, yeah. how does it feel? It feels good. Look, go ahead and play on it. It feels good. Oh yeah, yeah. Feels good. It has a nice texture to it. Yeah, it has it a two sided good. and it has the rim. Um. And it's black because I love black stuff. Mm -hmm. Um. But it's it's not so loud. And even mm -hmm. on the other side, the back side of it. It, it, your tone comes down just a little bit. Your volume just comes down just a little bit. Oh, yeah. It's important inside the house. Right. And so I'm always in the house. And so, you know, you see the difference? It's a little, a little bit loud on yeah, this side, yeah. but you still have this this warm tone to exactly. it. Yeah. And it's fun to play with. Um, and this is what I actually play with uh, nine times out of ten. I play with this pad more oh, often. Yeah. Just because, man, this... Yeah. And that rim... Yeah. It, it saves me a lot. And I always joke to people like you don't you ain't played on your drum pad if you don't chip. have no type of chips. Yeah, it don't look like it's it. been yeah. through the through the fire. Yeah, so exactly. man. Um but nah. <laughs> the movement drum uh drum code drum pad is one of my favorites. Yeah, no, nah, I definitely like uh movement drum code. Uh they got they got some good pads. Uh, I think I played on one of the pads a while ago and I never knew that company existed, so mm -hmm. <laughs> So shout out to shout out to Movement Drum Co, man. Yeah, there's one drum pad that I do want. Mm -hmm. um, I want to try that. Well, I, I actually played on it when mm -hmm. I was up uh, out in California uh, at oh, Coachella. Good. Was uh, the Ralph uh, and the oh, Harvey. the BYOS one. The BYOS sphere, I think it's called. Yeah, I, I, yeah. It, I like it. It's yeah. just again, it's a loud pad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's uh, their pad is kind of like, kind of like the Zymox in that mm -hmm. uh, they add. Uh, some material to make it produce a snare sound. It's, a, it's like a uh, tambourine yeah, type, tambourine uh, type magnetic thing. part that you put on the bottom. It sounds so good. Jeez. And it feels good, too. I love yeah, that pad. Definitely. It's just, for me, I'm a softer type of when I, when I of course, practicing. But it is a wonderful, wonderful yeah, pad. So pad. that's I think that's the next pad I'm going to purchase. Ralph Harvey, yeah. your ad could go here. Right, right there. <laughs> yeah, your, right at the bottom. Your ad for your BOS. Right there. Right here. Right there. So just uh so go ahead and uh, hit us up, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real, man. We we uh we definitely we definitely super cool with Ralph and Harvey and for they, sure. they, they they produce a good good drum pad. So shout out to them boys, man. Sure, sure. Um, let me see, what's some honorable mentions? Honorable uh, mentions. Um Let's see. I already talked about the stock pad. Yeah. We didn't, we didn't bring that one. I actually had one and then I left 
the stock pad oh, okay. at a gig. Oh wow! But the church was like a, literally like an hour and almost hour and a half oh, wow. away. So, it's over with. so I, it was over. With. <laughs> yeah, it was like, hey, um, you left your drum pad. I was like, okay, uh, I'll try to pick it up, and right. I just never went out there. So yeah. um, that's a gift for me because. I couldn't come back out there. Yeah, yeah, it's over with for that one. Yeah. <laughs> so uh one of my and this is a super throwback, but um I wanna say one of my very first I know I mentioned the invader was my first pad, but like one of my very first things I just used to practice on was um this little muter. I think it's a snail muter snare muter. Snail muter? Oh the the the, the uh like the black joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was like the a very suction? first thing that I used as a pad, bro. Yeah. I, mean, I don't even think that's an official pad, but man, yeah. that joint used to Make make it work. Like oh back yeah, in the day, yo. for sure. <laughs> Put that junk on a dinner table. Now I'm I'm gonna I'm take it way back. A uh, biology book. Oh yeah, for a fact. Or a, uh, a history book. Any, any or book. Or any book with all your dent marks in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then you gotta turn it back in at the end of the year. Bro, that was my first jump. <laughs> now nah, for real, I used to um um my grandma used to have this encycl encyclopedia just shelf. Oh wow. And I used to use uh books from that shelf. And I would place like four or five books down and use them as quints, mm. use them as a drum set, yeah. like all that junk. Didn't, well, I, I used to use it for school too, but. Yeah, no, 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 <laughs> no, no, not mainly school. Used it for no, drumming. drumming. That's what it was there for. <laughs> right, for right. drums. Drums and drums only. Like, we, we'll learn later. <laughs> right. Let's get these rudiments first. Yeah, I used to do the same thing with uh, pillows though. Yeah. Um, oh, I used yeah. to act like I was uh, on stage and I would have. Like four yeah. pillows, get my mom pillow and put it in oh, there. Yeah. She'd be yeah, looking for the pillows to be in my room. <laughs> um, but also, pillows are still. Uh, I still practice on pillows because you got it. You got to keep those those hands uh, intact, and the pillow would definitely get you right every single time. I feel like a pillow should be everybody's favorite pad for sure. Because I literally every day I'm practicing on a uh, pillow. Mm -hmm. Like I, there's never a day when I'm practicing that I don't also practice on a pillow. Right. So yeah. I mean, we listed all these different products, all these different brands, but pillow should pillow. be. I wish I knew a pillow brand. Right, but, a pillow brand. <laughs> What's a pillow, pillow brand? Should be uh, your first, your favorite I brand. Think. <laughs> Serta? Well, is that Serta with the 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 the, the I don't uh, even know. with the sheet? What is that? I help. know it starts with an S though. It starts with help an S. Help me out. Uh, uh, I, I definitely don't. Know. I'm gonna look it up and I'm gonna put it back in the, in the video. <laughs> right, add it in the video with a picture of it. With a picture of it. <laughs> nah, man. But yeah, pillow should definitely be uh, your favorite pack because. You can never go wrong with a pillow. It just builds your hands up and yeah. uh, and your speed, especially if you practice with a metronome. Mm -hmm. Builds your speed, builds your hands, builds your uh, dexterity and all that. For so, sure. Uh, uh, alongside with these pads we listed, continue to practice on the pillow because that's that's important. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of an honorable mention. I don't want to miss anybody. Uh, yeah. Brand out, but we're gonna all if, if we if we miss a brand, we're definitely um we'll do another one and yeah. then. Maybe someone y'all can send us a pad and and, and yeah. review it, and then we can review it on here and um for a fact, you know, do something with that. Yeah, yeah, uh, definitely we'll do that, man. Uh, if we miss anybody or if you think uh, we should try out any any of your pads, right? Hey, let us know. Let us know. We got you. Definitely do a review, man. <laughs> yeah. And so one of the things that we we I think in this pandemic has happened um, is. Of course, we're playing on our pads more because we're inside yeah. more. Yeah, exactly. Um, can't really play on our drums inside our apartment buildings or houses mm -hmm. or things of that nature. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like like shifted us into when we do our videos and yeah. and things of that nature. It's been with pads. Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of the videos that you see now that has been going viral on 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 TikTok and Instagram and Facebook have been on pads. It yeah. haven't even been on real drums. Real drums so yeah. now, like. Where do you think pads are going to be? How how do you think pads are going to evolve? Yeah, with this whole pandemic and and how thing how drumming is kind of moving towards. Yeah, well, first of all, man, my drum pad was probably the most used thing in my house yes. <laughs> during this pandemic. I like I, like I was saying, I literally bought a pad because I knew I was going to be in the house. Right. So uh, I think uh, I mean I, I don't just look at the sales for pads, but I think mm -hmm. the sales for pads probably went up in the last year. Had to. <laughs> Uh, that just that whole market for uh, that drum pad market. Right. Uh, so yeah, man, I think more people are willing to play on pads now uh, than than drums uh, right. during this lockdown. But but yeah, like you were saying, um, 
people gravitated more towards playing on pads for their drum videos rather than playing on drums. Right. Um, now that you know we have to be in the house, we got to be in the neighborhood, mm -hmm. and um, it's just it's been a lot of people going viral with their drum videos yeah. while a playing on pads. <laughs> a lot of people, and a lot of people don't even have the money yeah. sometimes to even, uh, you know, own their own drum. And so yeah. I like what what uh, I think we're going to talk about a little bit later is the type. What is the type of drum pad? I don't know the name of it. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, please help me out if, if y'all know. But where they take this part of the rim of the of the, of the the uh, drum, and that's their drum pad. Like, it sounds like a real drum. Yeah. It's, it has the snare sound, but it does not have the shell. That's what a lot of people have been drumming on, especially uh, Malik. Malik Doe, uh, A1 Chops Leak, yeah. and... Uh, Timothy Fletcher, man, and the entire yeah. Baltimore area, yeah. the DMV area, area uh, yeah. they've been playing on those, and there's a couple people that have them yeah. here. Um, so I need to figure out how to do that, yeah, because I, I, I like it, and, and when it comes to just mm -hmm. videoing, yeah, it just you don't have to you don't have to lug the, yeah. the whole drum. It's perfect. It literally fits in your book bag or your bag, or you yeah. just handle it right here, yeah. and you can just set it right up. And I think that's really dope. Yeah, um, for real. For real. So yeah, man, I need to learn how to do that. So if no, anybody know how to do that for me right, can teach me i would love to have one of those man for yeah, sure for real. <laughs> uh but yeah so we was we was talking about uh you know viral videos and um you know those people doing that on drum pads and and so we just thought you know for the fifth quarter segment right. we'll uh instead of picking a drum line video instead of picking a band video we're gonna pick a viral drum video right um and you know this year or in 2020 it's been a been a few viral drum videos that that's happened um and so yeah, we're just going to, you know, for the fifth quarter segment for this episode, we're going to pick two viral videos, um, and yeah, we're going to see what they was able to do, man. Yeah, so so this viral video, this happened last year. Um, this was in the summer of last year. I got sent this a lot, and I wish I knew the young man's name or the man's name uh, playing in this video, but I, um, I, I do my research and try to get his information, but uh, this guy... I've never seen anybody groove so yeah. hard <laughs> on buckets and wow. pots wow. and crates on the corner. Like, I've seen a lot of bucket drummers. Shout out to Larry Wright, who is the first person to really oh, yeah. Shout out. push it out there. Shout um, out. But I've never seen somebody groove so hard on this. So this is a viral video. Check this video out. Let me know what y'all think. <laughs> I think the favorite part is when he was like, yeah, like he was moving using the pot the, oh my and god you, and using the friction as sound as sound bro <laughs> see that's why as a drummer i feel like drummers they they tap into a different part of the brain that sure. or that regular people just don't just don't tap into bro because to think to use the the ground and the the sound that it makes from dragging the pot on the ground and using that as a quarter note. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like yo, that's smart, man. That's so shout out to him, man. That was 
that was one of one of my favorite videos of last year. Yeah. That was that that hit my inbox so many times. Man. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, that's 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 my favorite video. The video I'm gonna choose is actually somebody who just recently re uh, went viral. Yeah, um, this guy named Tim Fletcher. Uh, he's uh, he's a part of that that up north that Baltimore uh, that Baltimore camp. Yeah, and um, this man he did a video to Cardi B's song called Up. She just came out with a song last Friday called Up, and he uh, he decided to drum to it. And that man did this thing, man. Hey, he the thing the thing about what I like about them, uh, or like you know uh, that the whole culture uh, Baltimore culture, right? Is that they add a different flair to flair their video. To it. It's something different. Yeah, man. yeah, it's definitely something different. Like it's uh, they they're doing that chopping, but they also add, uh, adding the dancing element to right. it, and that's what makes it really entertaining. Right. And hey, that man killed it. So y'all yeah. yeah, folks, hey, check out this video. Yeah. Then it's up, then it's up. If it's up, then it's up. Then Fire. 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 Shout out to shout out to Tim, bro. We yeah, man. we definitely want you on the show. Yeah, man. Um, because hey, you you doing something that a lot of folks ain't doing, man. You you, you your creativity is is on a level that a lot of people ain't ain't messing with. So for sure. Shout out to you. Shout yeah. out to uh everybody in Baltimore, everybody just up north in general. That that yeah. whole culture uh up there is is just fire, man. Yeah, man. And I was I, look, I seen the video. I've seen it. I got tagged in it at least twenty times in three days. About twenty, about twenty, 20 fifty. Twenty, right, <laughs> right, man. So, man, for and for you to be acknowledged um, by you know Cardi B herself, right, and you know just that's it, you just literally um, any video that goes viral, man, yeah. it just makes the drum community that much. Just yeah, exactly. It, it, we're we're touching lives. We're reaching out to people, yeah. man. So people that are doing their videos continue to do they video continue to do y'all videos, man, because it's it's definitely te uh, it's reaching an audience that we probably would have never reached if exactly. you know if we exactly. wasn't in this pandemic if, yeah. if if the social media didn't happen so i support it uh and man yeah tim we need you on the show <laughs> we need y'all on the show all right like yeah we need all y'all man yeah God, we need some form of a representative from from the baltimore culture man yeah <laughs> and we need somebody from the west coast yes we need somebody from the west coast and you know everybody we everybody need, we, need, man. we need this is a this is a ground for y'all to speak your truth yeah. and to show love and to have fun with what we do, which is drumming. Yeah, yeah, we want this to be a one-stop shop, man. So, yeah, whatever region you're in, reach out, man, because we want to want to make sure that we're saying the right information mm -hmm. and want to make sure everybody is represented here. So, correct, definitely, man. Uh, before we before we leave, though, we got this one last segment, uh, and it's a new segment that I want to introduce to the show. Um, and we're going to call it band announcements. Now, if you was in a band in high school or if you was in a band or any type of uh, just band program, uh, you know that at the end of rehearsal, either the band director, the uh, member, member of the band or the drum majors, they're always going always to say, we got band announcements and uh, they talk about the band announcements. So uh, me and Dad were just talking and we was just like, That'd be dope to do it on the on the show. Like why this, not? This at the end of every show, we'll talk about uh whatever we got going up, uh everywhere we got coming up, any events. Um and we're just gonna call it band announcements and that's the name of our uh that segment. So uh you got any band announcements now? Band announcements. Uh wanna wish you a happy birthday, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not his birthday. It's not his birthday. Uh, but no, man, uh, as always, thank you for uh, just supporting the drum podcast as well as Exclusive Percussion. So please follow uh, Exclusive Percussion. Uh, if you want drum lessons, uh, go to ExclusivePercussion.com. Click on the lessons and click uh, free consultation. You have a free consultation with me and so we can go ahead and get you set up for drum lessons. So um, definitely check that out. And uh Got some other stuff coming, but I can't talk about it until it is final. So probably the next episode or the next couple of episodes, you'll get some uh, some really dope uh, band announcements from me. Yeah. So what about you, man? Yeah, man. Uh, hey, I ain't got I ain't got nothing much yet, but follow the page, follow uh, the Drum Lounge Pod. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff coming up. Uh, check out the YouTube channels, uh, Exclusive Percussion. Um, check out my YouTube channel, Jeremy Foster. And man, just stay tuned, man. man like please. this is 
Like I can't I can't express enough how how much stuff we got lined up for this for this pod for this show, man. Um, and I I really want y'all to 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 stay tuned and really just because if you if you're with us now if you're a, a true fan now and a true follower of us now, you gonna be proud of us <laughs> months from now. Yeah, like you'll real. be you'll you'll be a true day one. For real. Uh, as opposed to when we start getting when traction, we start getting traction. And we start getting endorsements and people start coming along. Now, y'all, y'all who are pay, you who are paying attention now, you're a day one fan, and we really appreciate. Truly y'all. appreciate you. Truly appreciate y'all. Seriously, seriously. <laughs> but yeah, man, I think that's it, man. Yeah, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, we had a good episode, man. So, hey, we'll catch y'all on the next one, man. Peace. All right, y'all.